Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good y'all, you dig what I'm saying? As you guys can see, we are back at the JIHQ, man. And yes, it is definitely empty. We don't even got Bumblebee in this joint right now. Crazy. But anyway, your boy got an update. You know what I'm saying? Just got home from work. My boy Frank actually was able to get the car up in the air. And, you know what I'm saying, do some troubleshooting. And it's crazy what he found, y'all. So, he's actually going to be sending me over some clips so I can go ahead and throw them in the video for you guys so y'all can see what we're talking about. But, y'all are not going to believe what the issue is with Vader, bro. At least what we, what we suspect is the issue. And it really makes sense. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and backtrack to the video that I dropped on Monday yeah the video I dropped on Monday talking about the transmission and everything that was going on with the car basically you know what I'm saying I had touched on the fact that when Mamba's transmission went out it was like struggling to downshift like the, the, the downshifts were delayed um, it was shuddering and stuff like that and Vader wasn't doing that at all you know what I'm saying all it was was that consistent noise, that rapid, like violent vibration. And it sounded like legit. There was like, y'all know back in elementary, you know what I'm saying? When they teach you how to make like a, a Macarena, you know what I'm saying? They give you like a little, I think I said that right. If I did, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below. But if I did it, correct it in the comment section down below. I know somebody gonna do it. But anyway, they gave you like the little beans and you put it in an empty water bottle and you shake it up and it sounds, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's exactly what the transmission was sounding like. Now, me personally, really and truly the first thing that I thought was, okay, with the way that it sounds, it's definitely sounding like it's rotating. So it sounds like it could be the drive shaft broke, right? Now, if the drive shaft was to break, a, I would not have no power to the rear wheels. B, it would be hanging tight, like on the floor or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's what I was thinking. Now, when I pulled over, of course, get a full 360 of the car, you know what I'm saying? Checked underneath, make sure there was no fluids leaking. Again, as soon as I heard that noise, bro, I was looking for a check engine light, I was looking for the oil pressure, like making sure everything was straight, and it was. Car didn't throw any codes, didn't throw a soft code or nothing. I'm like, damn, what could it be? I'm like, okay, let me get the car up in the air. Raise the car up in the air. I don't know if I vlogged it. If I did, it's in the video. You guys can go tap in. Both of those videos will be tagged at the end of this video, so you know what I'm saying? I make it very easy for you guys to catch up when you miss out on a vlog. If you don't want to miss out on a vlog, look right down there, right next to where it say subscribed. It should have already say subscribed. If it says subscribe, but hit that button and then hit the bell icon that's right next to it. Turn them joints on. That way you can get a notification whenever I upload a video. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, back to what I was saying. I was like, let me see if the drive shaft is hanging or if I can see anything while I have the car up in the air. So I raised it up, whoop, whoop. I didn't see any leaks. I didn't see like the drive shaft seemed to be intact. Again, if the drive shaft would have snapped, you know what I'm saying? I definitely wouldn't have any power to the rear wheels. So I'm like, yeah, it has to be the transmission. It's coming from the transmission tunnel. It's the only explanation that makes sense, right? Wrong. So my boy Frank got the car up in the air, man, and this is what he found. So, here we have a Camaro, one LESS. 
complaining about a noise. Originally, I thought it was a transmission based on his video that he showed me, but we take a look here. There's a missing bolt, and then there's a loose bolt, and I have not touched these at all. And he says he hasn't touched them at all. Look at this. This is some dangerous stuff, guys. Really dangerous. You're playing with life right here. That snaps off and this whole thing is gone. This is a two-piece. I'm imagining the guy that had him before him had a one-piece and left these bolts loose. We're gonna tighten these all up, install the new bolt, and test drive it and see how it drives. The reason why I believe that it is the drive shaft and he believes it is the drive shaft is because one bolt is missing and there's a total of like four or five if I'm not mistaken off the top of my head. So one of them being missing and then all of the other ones are finger tight. Of course that joint is loose and it makes sense as to why it sounds like it's rotating because it's the drive shaft that's rotating. And then it also makes sense if we go back to Monday's video when I was like, it's only making the noise from second through fifth gear. After those gears and before those gears, there's literally no issue. And the reason why again is because after fifth gear, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth, those are like cruising gears. You know what I'm saying? Those are your longer gears. Um, you're already up to speed. You're not really like, you know what I'm saying, in the power band anymore um, necessarily. So there's not that much strain um, being put on the drive shaft. Now, with that being said, it makes sense that the drive shaft would be basically rotating aggressively and kind of wobbling from second through fifth because those are the gears that are gonna get you off the line. Those are the gears that get you up to speed. And it makes sense for it to not be making any noise in first gear because first gear stops at about 2,500 to 3K RPMs in automatic mode. It literally goes from first and then it shifts up to second as soon as it hits like 2,500, especially since it's a 10 speed automatic. So. With this being said, hopefully, 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 you know what I'm saying? We install this bolt, tighten down the rest of the bolts, torque them down to spec, accurate spec, and he takes it on a test drive and everything is fine. That would definitely be ideal. Um, that's what I'm hoping for, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the dealership does not have the bolt that I need for the drive shaft. So my boy Frank had to order it. So they say it's gonna get here on Thursday. Should be an easy fix. Hopefully it comes in on Thursday on time. My boy can throw it in there, take the car on a uh, test drive, make sure everything's straight. And then, you know what I'm saying? I go pick it up on Thursday and we got Vader back on the channel. Now, with that being said, y'all, y'all go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for your boy right now because we need all the positive vibes so hit that thumbs up button for me right now subscribe if you haven't already drop a comment in the comment section down below drop good vibes in the comment section down below legit good vibes in the comment section down below for the kid you know what i'm saying hopefully vader comes home on thursday and we don't got no issues with that being said y'all that's actually gonna wrap it up for this video if you're new to the channel like I said, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Hopefully, Vader comes back to the, the J-I-H-Q this week. For real.